The final third round pick is in for the Dallas Cowboys, and I don't freaking get it. Nashawn Wright is the pick here at number 99 overall, the cornerback out of Oregon State. I can only give you guys my opinion, and I hate it. I do not understand this pick whatsoever for the Dallas Cowboys, although we, give, we will give some positives from when I did my research on him. Guys, I don't get it. This is, a, this is a seventh to undrafted free agent grade for me. That's where we're at, and we're in the top 100. Now, on Twitter, I'm already in full meltdown mode at what going down in, which I'm not a huge fan of. Oh, look, a beer. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. Oh, it was Jack. Whatever. I'm too angry to notice who's actually around me here. Not a fan of this pick whatsoever. I, there are better corners on the board that definitely fit the scheme that the Cowboys pass. Let's start with the positives. Got the height, got the length, 6'4 and a quarter, 300, or 32 and 7th H inch arms. He's got the length out there. He is a pure outside corner in a cover three scheme. So they have that fit from that perspective. This reeks of a potential Dan Quinn pick, by the way. Does have the ball skill. So as a, as a cover three guy, that does check off that particular box there with, with Nashawn Wright. Five interceptions in 16 starts over the past two years. He does turn 24 in September. Here's why I don't like this. At his size, Nashawn Wright is objectively a bad athlete. We, we can use relative athletic score out there. The, the size, the height is awesome. The 44940 or so is pretty good as well. He's stiff. 7.193 cone, a horrible 4.57 shuttle, six bench press reps. The dude's got no strength on him. You have to bulk him up there. I don't understand this pick. If we do this in round four, even a round five, different conversation. There were so many better corners on the board for the Cowboys from what I've done in my evaluation process. I don't get this. I think I've been fairly nice so far with the pick so far. You know who went after Nashawn Wright? Elijah frickin' Molden, Ifiatu Melifonwu, and Ambry Thomas. All players I've got substantially higher on my board. Elijah Molden, take him as your damn safety. Melifonwu, if you want to cover three corner, take him. He's actually good at football. It's a trash pick by the Cowboys. I loved last year's NFL draft class. I thought it was the best the Cowboys have done in my time as being a, a Cowboys fan. This draft class, I'm pissed. This is not good. Now, I desperately hope that I am wrong. And I know there are people out there who like this, this pick. And that's cool. It's opinion stuff. It's, it, I get it. And you can give your opinion right now. A, B, C, D, or F. And maybe I hold my favorite team to a higher standard than maybe I should. But I hate this. This is an F. I don't understand this. I did not think Nashawn Wright was worthy of a top 100 pick. Maybe even a, a top 150 pick. So this is the pin comment. Get your votes in. A, B, C, D, or F. Now at the Cowboys report, we're going to give you the off-the-cuff reaction. You, if you want to double dip a corner, take a thought to Melifonwu. Take Elijah Molden. Don't take the mediocre Oregon State corner who's played college football at the FBS level for two years and is not a good athlete. What are you doing? I don't get that. I don't understand it whatsoever. I will give you my opinion. You don't always have to like it. It's cool. This is America. That's like the whole point of, of the country, right? But if you want real analysis and not like, oh, whatever, you know, we're doing, we're just going to spin it as sunshine and roses. Not here for that. Hit that big red button and subscribe. It's YouTube.com slash Cowboys TV. All right, more on Nashawn right here, the cornerback out of Oregon State. If you keep him on the outside, if you keep him in a cover three scheme, I think he's going to be able to make it in the NFL. I thought he was a pure cover three guy. But he's very skinny, and there are some awesome plays. The highlight reel looks pretty good for, the, for Nashawn Wright. The low light reel, bit of a red flag as well. Not something I'm really in the mood for whatsoever there. Has allowed far too many interceptions, or excuse me, uh, completions and, and touchdowns in his young uh, college football career here. Uh, five interceptions 2019 was better in 2020, only allowed the one there. 
but it allowed 54.16% uh, completion percentage. He checks off the height, length, and speed box pretty well. 4.4740, 6'4", th almost 33-inch arms. He didn't test well, though. He's not a strong football player. This is a red shirt player, I think. So why am I taking a red shirt player at 99 overall who's not going to start for me because I already took Kelvin Joseph. I have Trevon Diggs. I spent a backup cornerback pick here. Hopefully he's good on special teams. I think uh, Reggie Robinson's a better player here. You had safeties on the board. You took a backup at cornerback because I think this is what Dan Quinn wanted. I'm disappointed. I'm not happy. This has not been a good draft by the Cowboys. I know the board didn't fall their way. You pass on Elijah Molden, Ifiatu Melifanu, hell, even Ambry Thomas, take a guy that I had graded as a borderline. He barely cracked my top 300. I did 300 players this year. Uh, where was he? Friggin' all the way down there at 288. Now, if you want to argue 270, there's like no difference there. 265, it's fine. I'm, I am not happy. This is not, this, this draft, this draft is bad. I, I, I can't sugarcoat it. You guys know, you longtime subscribers, how much I loved this past draft, the, the, the draft last year. I adored it. I thought it was awesome. This draft sucks. Micah Parsons, Kelvin Joseph, great upside players. You made a big deal this pre-draft process about character and culture, and then you take two guys with legitimate off-the-field concerns. One of them might hit. And it's probably going to end up being pretty darn good. And that will end up being pretty well. I like it. Osa Odigizua. Chauncey Golson. You got depth. Safe picks right there. And then you double dip at corner for a guy that I did not like. He's not athletic enough to spend a top 100 pick on. If you're going to take the not great athlete, fucking take Elijah Molden. That's a bad pick by the Cowboys. I do not understand this. And I know that other people do. And that's cool. I'm not a fan. I, I don't like it. I am not happy with the way this draft has gone. And it breaks my heart that you were one pick away from walking out with Patrick Sertan and Trevon Merrig. And then I would have been dancing on cloud nine. He could have taken a linebacker in round three. That would have been great. You could still take Osa Odigizua. Chauncey Golson might have fallen to you. Instead, now we're getting into day three. And... I, I was hoping it was going to be Elijah Molden, and I would have been feeling so much better. Instead, Sean writes the pick. And I hope I'm wrong. I hope the Cowboys end up knowing more than me. But for now, all I can do is drink, damn it.